entering into the room of patient, decontaminating my hands using seven steps of hand hygiene, making sure there is no obstructions, curtains are closed for me privacy, introducing myself to the patient. Hello, good Hi. morning. Hello, how are you? How are you? I am great, thank you. Okay, so my name is Sugandha, I am your nurse for today, okay, and I will be taking care of you. Uh, but uh, can I confirm some details uh, with you? Can you please tell me your full name? John Smith. Can I touch your ID band? Sure, that's fine. Okay, how would you like me to address you? John will be fine. Okay, John, what is your date of birth? 23rd of December, 1995. Okay, and uh, what your address? One Hill Street in Blyder. Okay, John, do you remember your NHS number? No, I don't. Just let me cross check it for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Perfect. So, John, I will be giving you injections of clopentexol, okay, and it is due for today at 14 hours, and uh, you might be taking it fortnightly. Is that right? That's right, yes. Do you know why are you getting this medication? It helps with the voices. That's perfect, yeah. Um, John, are you happy to take the medication right now? Yes, that's fine. Okay, and do you have any allergies to plaster or latex? No. Any other allergies? Not at all, no. Okay, and where would you like to take this medication? Last time they gave it on my right. Okay, so this time I uh, will give it on the left side, just to make sure that you do not have any unnecessary tissue damage. Is that fine? That is fine, thank you. Okay, I'll be back with the medication. Thank okay, you. I've put the curtain just to maintain your privacy, right? If you need anything, you can just press the call button. Me or my colleague can come and uh, see what you need, okay? That is perfect, thank you. Okay. Patient details are John Smith, NHS number is 12345678908890. Date of birth is 23rd December 1995, address is 1 Hill Street, Blyana. Uh, the medication is injection zoclopenthixol and the dose is 300 mg given fortnightly and it is today due for today 14 hours the route is im prescri prescriber signature is dr s jones bleep number is 234 this prescription is valid and legible so now i will be unlocking my drug trolley checking for the medication and this is injection zoclopenthixol 500 mg and the expiry date is uh, 10-2023 and batch number is NP236DR. It is intact. There is no discoloration, no particle in the medication. Just cross-checking with my BNF. So this is zuclopenthixol dicotinate and it is given for, it is given deep intramuscular, contraindication is CNS depression which my patient doesn't have, side effects can be anxiety or abnormal appetite. Okay. Now I'll be locking my trolley. Uh, for this procedure, we would, I would need two kidney dishes, I would require a syringe and it's 3 ml syringe it is intact the expiry is in the year of 2026 it's good to use i would require one withdrawal needle it is intact and the expiry is in the year of 2026 i will also need one injecting needle it is intact and the expiry is in the year of 2025. I need two sterile swabs, alcohol swabs, and these are intact. The expiry is in the year of 2022. I need one plaster. It is intact in case if it bleeds. And I will also require one clean cotton swab
Now I will be preparing my medication and for which first I will clean my vial for 30 second in circular motion. One, two, three, four, five, 30? six, seven. Wait it uh, to dry for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So I have to give, uh, since patient is prescribed 300 mg and the vial is for 500 mg, I will be giving 0.6 uh, uh, ml. That is the calculated dose. Taking uh, 0.6 ml using the scoop method, recapping the needle, removing any extra bubbles. So, do dose is 0.6 ml. That's correct. Uh, now, I will be changing the needle to. Discarding it in the shop bin. Securing it and pulling back uh, the safety cover. Now I am ready. Decontaminating my hands again. Using seven steps. Wearing my PPE. Securing it, wearing clean gloves one at a time, now taking the trolley to the patient side. Hello John, I'm back with your medication. Hello. Okay. Uh, so you told me why you're getting your zoclopentex oil, but are you aware of any side effects of the medications? No, I've been okay. I've been taking it a while. Okay, yeah. There, are, there you could get some anxiety or abnormal appetite, but it's very rarely that happens. And even if it happens, we are there to tackle with it, okay? Thank you. Are you ready to take the medication right now? Yes, that's fine. Thank you. And. Uh, and John, I would be exposing your area. Are you comfortable with that? Yes, that's okay. Okay. I'll also be touching you. Are you fine with it? Yes, that's okay. Assessing the area for any edema or any lesion. So area is clean and there is no infection. Cleaning the area in circular motion for 30 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 30. 4, 5. Waiting it to dry for 30 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4. 30 seconds. Okay. Now while giving IVM, I'll make a Z track and hold the syringe in, uh, in form of dart, inserting it in the 90 degree. Sharp scratch, John. There is no bl blood flow. Giving in 6 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six. Keeping the needle in C2 for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pressing in the area. There's no sign of bleeding, John. Do you need a plaster? Yes, please. Are you comfortable? I'm comfortable. Thank you so much. Okay. It's nice to know that you're comfortable. I put the plaster, John. Okay, I'm covering you back. And if there is anything which you need, please let me know, okay? There's Thank a you. call button, okay? Thank you. Intramuscular injection given a torso gluteal muscle on left side patient is stable putting the batch number of the medication they are putting my brand name the nature today's date and time that is 14 